Before we get into today's video, I have a quick question I need to answer. Everybody always asks me, hey Trevor, how do you keep that adorable little baby face so smooth? I'll tell you. Dollar Shave Club. Now I know what you're thinking, Trevor, you have to shave? You have the face of every kid on Stranger Things. I know that. Here's the thing, internet, I do shave. Like a lot, like twice a week. That's more than the garbage comes. And that's why I'm thankful for Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. And also, sponsoring the fact that now I can shave because when I grow out my beard, I look like a manager of a GameStop. But not like a powerful manager. Like a manager where you're like, yo. Give me $22 for this game. I'm like, sorry, all I can do is seven. And they're like, I'll pull out all 13 of your beard hairs. And I'm like, here's a $50 bill and lunch is on me. The best part about Dollar Shave Club is they have everything. Even a thing called a robloncho. It's a robe, blanket, poncho. I don't know what it is, but it sounds delicious. On top of that, they have everything for your grooming needs. Shower, oral fixations, not like that. Deodorant, soaps, and most importantly, shaving. Let's face it, the holidays just passed and you probably got your dad the same gift you've gotten him the past seven years in a row a hammer from Home Depot, and a box of golf balls. Yeah, that's cool. If your dad is Bear Grylls, get him something cool, like a razor from Dollar Shave Club. You don't even have to overdo it. Start with the starter kit. It comes with the executive handle, two blades, and the Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter. The best part about the butter, it goes on clean and smooth and clear, so you can see where you're shaving. Because whenever I use the thick shaving cream, there's always spots that I miss. I'm walking around town looking like I got patches of Hawaii of hair on my neck. So use my code in the description below and get the shave starter set for only five bucks. That's the price of a Subway sandwich, not even. They raise the price on that. Who do I talk to about that? Why is my BLT 603? I have questions. And check out their great holiday gift set. After that, the restock box ships full-size products at regular price. Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> what? Uh, so, did you say anything? It's a podcast. Yeah, I'm kind of a podcast guy. Oh, this one's really good. It's a murder dating podcast where they interview the people who were murdered. It's really short though. Big podcast guy. It's a podcast hosted by babies, so a lot of times I don't know what they're saying, but I also feel like I know what they're saying, you know? You probably wouldn't get it though. It's like two comedians and they go to a store and they get ripe fruit and then unripe fruit and then they compare the two, but they're comedians. It's a porn podcast, but they interview the porn star after the scene when they still have it on their face. This one's different. It's about serial killers and what they do when they're not serial killing. It's pretty good. Yeah, they actually just had Ted Bundy's neighbor's niece on this show. Really good. But that's not to be confused with Serial Killers, which I just started listening to last week. It's where they talk about killer cereal. Today they're doing Apple Jacks, and so far so good, but I'm only three hours in, so. We'll see. It's a podcast between two frat guys and they all do an eight ball of cocaine together and then wash the dishes with one sponge. Surprisingly, really good. I like podcasts over books on tape because like books on tape is too scripted. I like podcasts because they're real. So true. But this one's really good. They go in depth on young thug lyrics and they tell you what he was actually trying to say. Check this out. What Jeffrey is saying here is he has a lot of money and could definitely kill you. Right? Yeah, this one's really good. It's about a wife who goes and cheats on her husband and then comes back and then compares sexual positions with her current husband. It's really good. It almost always ends in divorce though. Come to think about it, I might have just been listening to Jerry Springer on tape. Uh, it's a podcast. It's a podcast, so it's with two young comedians and they're both from the alternative scene of Brooklyn, New York. And it's really cool because it takes place and it's inside of a laundromat. Probably listen to Joe Rogan anyways. Don't get me wrong, I love a good Joe Rogan podcast, but they're a little normy for me. You know, I like the underground, the ones that are recorded in like a tunnel slide at the bottom of a playground. You know, something that's got character. Just waiting for the bus. It's a podcast. You still take Uber? Ugh, yeah, I take the bus because I, for one, want this planet to live another 13 days. I also want to finish this podcast about which fertilizer to use on your bonsai tree. I don't even have a bonsai tree but it's educational. I podcast 24 seven when I eat, <laughs> sleep, even have sex. I don't really do the last one, but I have a really good sex podcast if you need it. I usually work from home when I listen to podcasts. Um, it's also because I don't have a job. Chickpea chicken wings. I heard it on episode 34. Whenever I can't find a new podcast, I just consult my colleagues on Twitter. You probably wouldn't get it. It's an inside joke. No, I don't work at Twitter. I'm a freelance writer. I just review other people's tweets. No way, I just finished a podcast on park benches. <laughs> Kawinky dink. They're actually going extinct, believe it or not. As a freelance writer, I love a good podcast because it really opens up your mind to what you're really trying to say. <laughs> he kills me. But no, it's um it's a podcast joke. You'd have to like know the host and like it's a he does this thing like every time. 
he does like an, an ad. He he like pretends to mess up a word, but it's it's now it's like a thing. So it's yeah, it's a podcast thing. I recently got rid of cable because ugh, mainstream. He always does this. He's so good at doing ads. No, his ads are different. Like you want to listen to his ads. He, he's, he's really good with ads. I feel like with a good podcast, you don't even need friends. Like these are my friends. I haven't seen another human being in three years. It's a comedy podcast. It's, it's these two like co-hosts and they just like, they're really good at like riffing. Stiff songs? Yeah. 